how you say it. Mukbang. Mukbang. That's how we're gonna say it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Martin Family Channel. No, tell them what we're doing. We're doing a mukbang. <laughs> we don't know how to say it, yeah. but basically, it's where we went and got some food, Subway. Subway. And then Fresh. we're gonna basically eat it and tell you guys how we met. But what I was gonna say before that was a mukbang is basically where you go get some food, explain what you're eating, and then you tet talk about a topic but we got subway and we're going to talk about how we met and that's our mukbang yeah so do you want to tell them what you got first yeah so i get a foot long on uh, italian herbs and cheese bread i get a blt with spinach and cucumber some light mayo and a little bit of honey mustard i get the exact same thing every single time that we go to subway i only i like alternate my breads but today I got honey oat and I got a foot long too because I'm hungry today um and then I got ham and bacon and American cheese and green pepper banana pepper black olives extra spinach and ranch and salt and pepper and it's good her sandwich is gross comment down below what you get from subway do you get the same thing every time or do you switch it up every time I've got literally this exact same sandwich since the first time I ever had Subway. That's literally me. That's that's how I am too. Wait, we switched sandwiches. I just opened up your sandwich, I think. You're the one that did the sandwich pass out, so. <laughs> that's embarrassing. No, it's not. Leave it to her. I was about to be really upset because I don't like cucumber unless it's cut up super, super small on my salads. And I was like, did he really get me cucumber? Tyler went in and got it for us. Cause the baby's in the back seat sleeping. Anyway, okay. So basically, explain like where you were at in life and everything. Okay. First of all, we went to high school together, mm -hmm. but in high school, I cheated off her on some high school homework. But we never ever ever talked. Like we literally sat right next to each other in class and never even acknowledged each other. He had a girlfriend basically all of high school, and I had. A couple of serious relationships in high school so we were just basically never single and I would have never dated Tyler in high school <laughs> you probably would have never dated me in high school right mm -hmm. you don't know mm -mm. but anyway so we did go to the same high school but we just never connected in high school so <clears throat> I graduated in, in I love it, words. I graduated in 2018. You graduated in 17. And it was two no, it was the month after I graduated. So I graduated in May. In June. Oh heavens, we're gonna have to get the baby. Okay. The baby finished eating. And Tyler ate his sandwich so fast like he said that he was going to. So basically, I'm gonna be the only one eating still have the other half of my foot long in this little bit but so basically what I was saying is is that we graduated a year apart from each other we never really connected in high school and then a month after I graduated in June I DM'd him and I thought he had a girlfriend like seriously thought he had a girlfriend I DM'd him and I DM'd him because he tweeted back to just doing me and I also had just realized that he was a new follower of Christ so I was like okay, I should DM him and just be like, hey, I'm praying for you, I'm thinking of you. Like, let me know if you need anything. So you take it away from there. So this is my son, Carson. Okay, tell your side, <laughs> dummy. What's he looking at? I don't know. The flag flying, probably. Oh. But tell. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Um, after I DM'd you. She DM'd me. I was in a pretty dark place. Um, me and my girlfriend had just broken up. We were doing long distance and it was pretty hard for me as a new follower of Christ to deal with a breakup in a Christ-like way. But I was trying really hard. So, um, tweeted that and she, you know, sympathized for me. Sympath <laughs> she, was able, she was able to sympathize for me. 
and we talked about it and um sympathize with you yeah sympathize with me um and just help me kind of through that situation as a friend um and yeah i'll let her kind of explain how um the next day went literally the next day after she dm'd me so i dm'd him he dm'd me back Karsten is literally just chilling. I know he is. He always just chills with me. Okay, so. Both like I said, I DM'd him. He did me back. We kind of dm for like, probably like 30 minutes. And then Tyler was like, can I just call you and explain to you what's going on? So I was like, yeah, sure. She gave me her number in the first message. Yeah. Because I was like, why not cut to the chase if you want to text me and then text me? I don't care. <laughs> so. I would rather text and DM like that's stupid. I don't know why keeping your phone number a secret from someone that you grew up in the same hometown from is like wrong. Or why you should play like hard to get. I wasn't even trying to get with him. So why? Yeah. Anyway. So I gave him my phone number. So he calls me. And we talked on the phone. He tells me like what's going on. Whatever. And he was like. I said. I was like. I'm about to get into the shower. What a face I was time. like. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Michael, I was like, I'm about to get into the shower. Can I call you back later? And Tyler was like, actually, I'm about to be busy with something. Let's just meet up for lunch tomorrow. And I was like, okay. Like, I don't care. I didn't so, want to FaceTime. <laughs> you did not say I that I was to me. joking. So no, then, I didn't say that. <laughs> Dummy. I was joking right now. <laughs> so then, he... We texted and we made plans for the following day. So tell them whenever what you did. Okay. So she sent me her address. It was an apartment complex. And I thought the apartment, apartment complex she was talking about was a different one. So I showed up. I was like, I'm here. She, and uh, she was like, I came you? outside. She was like, where you at? So I then pulled up my GPS and I was not there he was at the wrong apartment complex so tyler was like 30 minutes late to us hanging out i was literally starving like you know how you see all over the place that people are always like girls won't eat in front of guys yada 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 i was like no i will eat in front of guys and i was like you know what i'm gonna make myself really freaking hungry and i'm gonna eat in front of this dude because i didn't care so i was very hungry. Yeah. So And we, then I get into the car and I didn't like express to him like Tyler, I'm like so hungry. We need to go eat right now cuz you know, any normal person if we were going to go eat, we would just go straight to freaking eat. What did you do? We drove. Tyler drove us around for like I'm not even joking with you like an hour and a half before we went and ate somewhere. Yeah. I was like, I am starving. Like good thing this is the first time this guy's met me cuz if it wasn't, he would I would be hangry right now. So, then, we went and we... Got B-dubs. Got B-dubs. And we both ordered honey barbecue boneless wings. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I knew she was the one. We ordered the same thing at B-dubs. You're an idiot. Anyway, we stayed at B-dubs for like four hours, literally just chatting, getting to know each other. And then after that... We would have stayed longer, but I had to go to work. Yeah. On the way home, we uh, went to Starbucks... And, um, yeah, and then the rest And after is, that, we sang to High School Musical. And the rest of this whole entire story, we're going to save for another video. Because it's actually pretty exciting. And we want to make it more detailed. But we just wanted to kind of, like, break the ice with how we met in the first place. And then leave you guys kind of waiting on the entire love story. Because how else would we end up married with this little... With this rock on my finger at 20 years old so yeah but we're gonna build some suspense here so that's just kind of like the backstory of how we met um but stay tuned for our next video because you're in for a treat maybe not even our next video i think that they should have to get this video to 100 likes before we do that video i think that's pretty scary i think 50 likes whatever the boss says what do you think Whatever you think. What I think is I need a drink. 
Whatever Carson says. Make a noise if you want 50. Winner. The baby says 50 likes and we'll tell you guys the rest of our love story. And it's also, pretty juicy. How was your food? It was fire. Didn't taste any different than normal. Why? I'm just asking. Why? <laughs> Taylor, I'm genuinely just asking. Isn't did that a weird sandwich, question? Did your sandwich taste like normal? Yeah, it did. Mine doesn't. I'm probably just being picky, but it's not that good. <laughs> Maybe I'm burnt out on Subway. We literally eat it like once a week, twice a week. This Tyler, is my wife, everybody. Tyler eats it more than that. But you love me. Okay, well. Let us know how you met your significant <laughs> other in the comments. Like, down there, you know? What do you think? I just, I, I want to tell them the rest, but we can't. Not yet. It's literally like, I'm not even just saying this. It's literally so juicy. Like, there is so much detail to how we ended up where we're at. I'll give you guys a little, a quick insight. We broke up and I literally moved states. Whoa. So just keep that in mind when you're like, should I like this video and get it to 50? Why am I being an idiot? <laughs> you're always an idiot. <gasps> All right. He's mean. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Baby Don't forget to like and subscribe.